goes before you, and you are our real guard, rear guard. When we call, you answer. When we cry, you say, here I am. You make your light to rise through us in the darkness, and our light is as bright as the noonday. You guide us continually and satisfy your desire for us and make us like the water garden and a spring of water that does not fail. Jeremiah 30, verse 17. For I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord, because they have called you an outcast. It is Zion for whom no one cares. Lord, you restore me to health. You heal my wounds. They have called me an outcast. They attack and strike me. But you, O oh Lord, are my God. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore you, O oh children of Jacob, are not consumed. You, O oh God, are the Lord of heaven and earth, and you do not change. It is because of your holiness that we are not consumed. Malachi 4, verses 2 and 3. But for you who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I act, says the Lord of hosts. You are the sun of righteousness, and you rise with healing. We shall go forth leaping like the calves, we shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of our feet on the day you act. Because you, Almighty God, we fear, we stand in awe of, and we love. It's in Jesus' name we pray. So, as you read scriptures, there's tons of scriptures in the Bible. As you read scriptures, if you want to pray scripturally, if you have things that concern you, you can make this as personal as you want it. Now here in congregation, we and us, because we are combined, we're acting as a body, we're acting as a unit that God has set aside for a specific mission. But you in your life, for your specific circumstance, for your family members and their specific circumstances, for your loved ones, you can make these prayers as personal as you want them. But to pray scripturally means that you follow in accordance with what God has instructed you to do. I would also caution you to, to understand that some things, like the first few prayers that we read, were conditional prayers. God was saying, if you do these things, I will do these things. Those circumstances, that type of instruction has never been changed. It still exists. Sometimes our healing is simply brought about by living the lifestyle that God commands us to live. It's not a miracle. It's not a fact that God reaches down and touches us. It's that God said, you live this way, and I will cause these things to happen. When you don't live that way, <clears throat> you really shouldn't be surprised if those things don't happen. Because if God said do this and this happens, then if you don't, then they don't happen. That's just simply the law. Does anybody have any prayers that you would like to pray? No pressure. Well, as we close the day's service, we started with Holy Communion. In the Lord's Prayer, we have stated our faith. So now, let us stand as we sing our last hymn. We can remain where we're at. Our last hymn is 221. This is Jesus I Come.